I mean, you wait, see, this book is the book of laws. You can cut plenty wives. But right now in this world, man, it ain't safe to have many women, man. It ain't safe, man. You know, but I suggest you just have one. You know, if you get that itch, you need something, go get it, but go buy a hole or something. <laughs> you know, seriously, go buy a hole or something. But that one woman can stay with her, man. It ain't safe no more. Too many bodies. Man, you heard, I know you heard about the diseases like the, uh, 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 syphilis and gonorrhea that can't be cured now. That can't be cured. If you ever had drippy dick and burning dick, man, imagine having it for the rest of your life till you about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, the Israelites, man, we wake up, man, we, we, we study this word, man, so we can get the hell up out of here, man. You know, and another thing, the Israelites know the name of the Lord. But the name of the Lord, it ain't this stinking little devil right here, man. His name ain't Jesus, man. You know, his name ain't Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shah. That's, the, that's his name. That's why our people are catching off so much hell. We call on the, they, they call him on the name, and he's not hearing no prayer. He's not hearing no crime. But he hearing the elect now that's calling on his name. You know what I'm saying? His name is Yahweh Shah. No, it's Tahuti. Who? Tahuti. Nah, nah. Tahuti. Yeah, there's so many. I just read the scripture too. Let me get it again, man. Let me show you something. Oh man, your girl. The, uh, read the, uh, the carries her uh, Hebrew Bible. Yeah. Man, she wouldn't stop hugging me, man. I thought I might have to pop her just to, you know, hit it to leave, man. For the leave, man. For real. I got one. Let me read this real quick. Uh, this is Zechariah 13 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. You don't have one name. And that's what this other nigga was out here talking about. The Lord have many names. He, he ran on the bus, though. We got a battle here. Hey, that's what. Uh, Go ahead, on. Uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 4 that says uh, Yahweh is one. He, you know, in the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh. It's not no. Uh, What's yeah, the etymology of that? It means he, the, mo the Most High's name consists of two parts. Yah, Yah in Hebrew means he. Like a, in everyday Hebrew speech, when you say he this, it means Yah. You say Yah. And the word Hawa means uh, to be or to exist. Because the Most High's name literally means. Uh, he, he to be or he exists. He's the all existing. He's everything. You know I thought, what I mean? I thought, I thought ancient Hebrew, God was, uh, they call it alien, man, God, and then went to El Eloi. Uh, Allah Hayyim. That, that's uh, Allah. So you got, you know how in the English language, we had the word God, but it could be talking about pagan gods too, like uh, the God of thunder, the God of the sea, the God of, God of riches. Yeah, but God, that's dogmatic. But what I'm Yo, saying though, the word Allah in Hebrew, it's not God's actual name, it's a title. Like the scripture said, it's we're Allah Leah. Allah it's really pronounced Allah. Why we're Allah. The scriptures say we're Allah. You know what I mean? But there's only one most most high Allah. And his name is Yahweh. We say he's our Allah, which means our power or our God. He's our Allah, but his name is Yahweh. See what I'm saying? But the word Allah in Hebrew simply means God, is, but it's not, it's a generic word for God. Right, you know, well, it, the D is Y and the Y is I. Right. Hebrew, like like it, in Bible. the English Bible, it says Jehovah. You know what I mean? But we know in the Hebrew, it's really pronounced Yahweh, not Jehovah. Right, right. Hey, he got that book in the Native American, he's got that Native American oh, Indian yeah, book. There's a part in the book where it said the Native Americans call God Yahweh. This, this book right here. That's how we know Native Americans are Israelites too. Because you know? yep, they call the Most High by his proper name. I got, I got a scripture. I'll go ahead. Proverbs 30. What was that? Uh, what? Uh, Proverbs 30 and 4. Who, is, who has ascended up into the heavens or descended? Oh, uh, ascended. That's talking about the heavens, the sky. Because the Lord, they, uh, and the angels. Up here, bro. Up here, bro. Nah, this no, is talking no, about. No, watch. No, it's about it. talking physical. No, we're about to, uh, we talk, that's about to really, break down itself. That's really talking about the so-called UFO. So you got alleg allegory and you got parables. Right, well listen, they tell you. Who, who has ascended up into heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has balanced the waters in his garments? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if thou can tell? Oh, that's important. Yeah, it so said what's the father's name and the son's name. I like, I like what you're doing. You supposed to be doing this too, bro. Uh, you supposed to be out here too. Uh, 
down his infinite, right? He keeps going like a semi column. You feel me? Keeps yeah, going. Yeah. So I've been through the stage, go through stages, you gotta keep growing. You can't just take the places, man. You know how you gonna grow? You grow by being at home studying the world. It's the only way you're gonna grow. Yeah. You gotta get That's water. That's it. That's it. Uh, no doubt. You gotta have that good water. You know what I'm saying is. Okay. I know y'all. Okay, go ahead. Listen, that's, see, our people, man, don't want to be corrected, man. Our people don't want to be told they they, they wrong, man. That's one thing about our people, man. You know, but you got to get the whole, you got to eat this whole the whole roll. The scriptures mentioned the whole roll. You know, when you had, when you was a kid, you at that table. Your mom, your mom, and dad said, "Don't get your ass off that table until you finish that plate." Right? What's Bible? Bible book. Book. It's Biblia. It comes from the word that's, from that's, 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 that's Latin. Greek. It comes that's from the, Greek. it comes Bibliotis from actually. Biblos is Greek, right? It is Greek, right. yeah, but it actually right. comes from a Phoenician city. Biblos was where the papyrus right. was. Right, that's where the paper was made. That's where the paper was made. Oh, but the Bible itself. But the Bible is cool. You know some, but you, no, it goes much further. I know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but show me the word Bible in the Hebrew Bible. Because huh? in Hebrew, the word for book is not biblio. Of it, 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 right. what, what's the Hebrew word for book? No, no, that's what I'm saying. What's the Hebrew word we, for book? We, we said that was Greek, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. I don't know what it means in Hebrew. That's all another subject. Because the Bible was written in Hebrew, you know what I mean? So that's well, you got to no. know the Hebrew. The so the, the word for... I see it was written in, in Sanskrit. Nah, you Sanskrit. Know? That's that. That's Sanskrit. that. That's that Hindu stuff. Uh, the Sanskrit is Hindu. The Sumerians write in Sanskrit? No, nah, they wrote in cuneiform. Hindus wrote Elam, Sanskrit. Elam. Yeah, that's like an Indo-European yeah. language. Elamites, man. I'm heathens, man. I got one. Yeah. John 7 and 38. He that believes on me, as the scriptures has said, out of his belly shall flow the rivers of living water. So you got to eat the whole roll, man. You got to eat the whole roll. You got to eat the whole roll. And the true. whole roll is all the truth, man. Whether it's going to offend people or not, you still so why, you know? why, why, why call, why call him Jesus, though? Why? It's a, why? Well, Jesus is it's a stumbling block. Hey, let a brother get a scripture. No, I'm saying the, in the book. Well, I got, so got to say something. It's, it's considered a stumbling block. A stumbling block for some, for the wicked, for two-thirds to stumble over, man. Because it's only the righteous that's going to come and, and accept his real name. Yeah, that's got to Okay, uh, Psalms 83, 18. That they may know the doubt. The name alone is Yahweh. Ark the most high over all the earth. That's the right there, you only got one name. It's thus rich. Psalm 91 and uh, 14. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. What was before the Bible? Oral, what do you mean? The oral law? No, I mean, well, before the Bible I mean, from before, whom, before. First, you got to ask yourself a question. What is the Bible? No, 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 no. First, you got to, because the Bible is the history of the nation of Israel. I'm just now, is, is Israel the oldest nation on the planet? Okay, let's no, they're my, not. Let's answer my question first, then I get to yours. Go ahead. What was before the Bible religion? What was before the Hebrew religion? What was before that? There was nothing before. There was no laws of my No, the... The Hebrews, the Hebrew they're Israelites. They're to the laws of no, they're not. And that's true. Let's go through the Ten Commandments and compare them. Hey, get the Ten Commandments. Let's compare them. The Ten Commandments come to the four Let's examine it. Let's, Let's examine it. Let's examine it. You can't examine with that because that's going to be back to you. Because you have your book. Hold on, can I ask a question real quick? You know the story of uh, 300, right? The movie 300. You read his parties? Oh, yeah. It took it on. Okay. You know, you know, you know the story. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. You know the story. Hey, listen. You know in the story, in the Bible, there's 300 men that took up a whole army before that happened. So does it that 300 story is fake? The 300 story, was 300 men in the Bible that took over a whole army in the Bible before the, the Greeks it, it, it even uh, the 300 Spartans. The Battle of Thermopylae. So does, does, does it make the 300 Spartans story fake? Because it's similar? I read the Ten Commandments. It's based on real life. It's based on history. What I'm saying is, real history. It was the like us, which was the Greeks. It was the first ones by question. Okay. Now let's check out these Ten Commandments, though. Now let's let's examine the beginning of the Ten. We'll go through them all, but let's examine this and see the similarities between the laws of my yacht. Hey, my man, can you hit on your phone, laws of my yacht? Yeah, pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, that's going to hurt you even worse. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm, hey you know what? Because it was about, what I said it was about, yeah, yeah. about 
not staying complacent, growing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this might help me grow. Oh, yeah. You right, 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 right. So let's go. That's what you got to do. You got to dig let's in. Go. You got to dig. Go. That's we searching, digging. man. 42 laws of mind. That's yeah. searching. Yeah. That's yeah. knocking. That's I'll knocking. 42 principles. That's knocking. Hey, read the first uh, 20 and 1. What you got? You know, the scripture says oh, let's that every man be persuaded. Okay, let's go, Thom. Yeah, let's pull that up first and then we go Because you go find out they're not very similar at all. Okay. And then we let's find out which one. Then we can ask which one is better first. But first doesn't mean true though. Huh? This first doesn't mean true. Now, if I said a circle uh, has four sides, four thousand years ago, does that make that true? It makes it a circle. No, oh. if I, I said if a circle has four sides. Okay. If I said that four thousand years ago, then the circle has four sides. That doesn't make that true. Yeah, it does. If you go, know, if you go know by, if you go know back, that's crazy. <laughs> Why not? That's 360. crazy, man. Well, fucking older doesn't mean uh, more. What is it? That's crazy, man. Uh, what is that? Uh, is it uh, four sides? I forget. What is that? 121, 121, 121. Time is the, the, No, I'm saying color. a circle is a square. A square is a circle. I mean, I'm, I mean, you know older mean? doesn't even mean true, but it, you, it's not it even is. older. Because you got to understand that, that the nation of, but the Egyptian nation was a, uh, was came into power before the nation. Of right, Israel. but Kim it was before that. The Egyptian means laying the bondage. But you have the the Shemites. You know who the Shem is. The Noah had three sons: Ham, Shem, and Japheth. The Egyptians come from Ham, but right. the Israelites come from Shem, Shem, and they got separate traditions. They always had separate right. traditions. Traditions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. He's gonna mean you know, bondage. The top of He's gonna mean bondage. Well, I'm try, I'm try. Try. Egypt, uh, so well, Mitzrayim. E no, Egypt does mean bondage. Yeah, but Mitzrayim means something it different. Oh, oh. In Greek, it means bondage, they said. I ain't gonna run off what you call Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I ain't worried about that. You're not doing that up, man. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. And further by these, my son, be admonished. Of uh, making okay. many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Well, to the, uh, the ten Oh, we got it. He's just right bringing here. out that thing. He said, be wary of many books. Cause you got there's so much stuff out there. You know, people come with that Egyptian stuff, and they, they come with them enticing so words Egyptian, and stuff. Egyptian means to me is a bondage. It's, it's like Ethiopia, but it was a bondage. It's the house of bondage. Yeah, like but, Ethiopia ain't the word for Ethiopia. It's Kush. Well, right, it's Kush. You're right. I read that. That's what I'm natural. Because Kush is different from uh, Ethiopia. But yeah. you want the Ten Commandments? Yeah, yeah. Cause it shows you that the Bible don't cover Egypt. Hell. It's like it the comes from Ethiopia. The, the Bible? Bible? No, so nah. A lot of it does. No, yeah. Those are saying those are Canaanites. Yeah, well, I mean, they're the ones that took on the Christianity was Ethiopia, but you're right. But you had it, it from it come from uh, Israel. What you had, you had Israelites who did move to Ethiopia, though. Right. Is, our people I'm saying they carried on the Christian tradition, but well, they did. Yeah. Yeah, Ethiopia did. But you know why? It said, but the scripture says he has not dealt so with any nation as far as they commandments. They have not known him. So the Most High is only dealing with Israel. You feel me? The book is only dealing with Israel. Yeah. Most high, who did the most high save out of Egypt? Nobody. <laughs> who did he bring? The they drowned him. Well, I'm I said, yeah, who did he bring out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who did he bring out of Egypt? It was the oh, Israelites, yeah, the right? Israelites. Right. Wasn't Moses, wasn't Moses uh, so-called, he thought he was an Egyptian, but he, he found out he was an Israelite? That go to show you it's two different people. They two different nations. And he got mad when somebody uh, killed, the, uh, killed the Israelite. Right. Yeah. The most high said, let my people go. And then, not me? all of them. Hey, get that ticket, man. Boy, boy, waiting for it. Here we go. Exodus 20 and 1. And the most I speak all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Brought thee out of Egypt. Out know? of the house of bondage. So it said Egypt was the yeah. house of bondage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because they enslaved the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? So keep going. Thou shalt not make any. Oh, uh, so I can, before I continue, what's on the back of a dollar bill, too? Uh -huh. You got the all singing eye on the back of a dollar with the Egyptian pyramid. Because that whole slavery in Egypt happened again. Like you said earlier, there's no new thing under the sun. So Israel went back into captivity again. The reason why I saw a dollar bill is because they, they stole everything from us. Bro. Well, of course. They, stole, they, even stole our, they even stole our magi, but we do. Yeah, you know I mean? because that's all, their God, though. All, all of that shit. But how come, uh, how come they don't have nothing from the Bible back there on the dollar? Huh? They don't have nothing from the Bible on it. So what's that tell you? Because that tells you they don't believe in the Bible. Okay. They 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 work. They're pagans and stuff. You know what I mean? I hey, continue with that. Um, thou but, shalt have no other gods before me. Now this is the first commandment. Now we're starting off comparing this to the laws of Mayat. The very first commandment is in opposition to the laws of Mayat because it said, "Thou shalt have no other gods before me." That's not in the laws of Mayat. The, in the uh, the Egyptians, they they worship cats, alligators, crocodiles, dung beetles. No, what it was why they did that was because they they just. They was just using it to. This is 
show of how things are, you know what I mean? You know there was a battle. How people, how people could be or how, how, how nature is. That's all that was about. You know they really worshipped cats, really though. Them, they yeah, they did. No, they were just Look, you know, people. check this out. There was a battle between the Egyptians and the Persians. You know how the Persians conquered Egypt? They came the in a battle, the Persians. Yeah, the, Pers the first first we went into Egypt was, uh, was, a, was, was, was a Roman, then a Greek, and then Persia. But Persian and conquered then, Egypt, though. And then, uh, huh? Yeah, but you know how they did it? They, still did. they came in with thousands of cats. They still did. And they threw cats on the battlefield. And the Egyptians were so superstitious that I mean, they, 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 they didn't want to hurt no cats because they, they were gods. And so they fled. And then they lost. I got to go, brother. So I'll be safe. Oh, that was too much for me. Now that's real history. That is. Hey, you know the ancient Egyptians, when a cat died, they would mourn it for like 10 days to shake their eyebrows off. <laughs> yeah, that's, a bu that's bugged out, bro. I ain't believing in no Egypt. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the thing we're on people, man. People are bro. Where we at? We was talking about how uh, <laughs> the ancient Egyptians really worship animals. The they really worship. The war against the Persians. Look, look they, yeah, you, you know about that apis pool. But Egyptians is different from the Medic, though. It's the same thing. Because the real name is uh, Kham. So comes from the Hebrew word uh, Kham. Kemet is a Hebrew word Kham, which means uh, burnt. Which uh, Kham, that's where you get the English word ham or hamites. Because the Egyptians were hamites. See that? So the, so the Bible got the real name right. Because they, they, they call themselves Kemet, but in the Bible it's Kham. So it, it, they got, you know what I mean? And they really worshiped the Apus bull. They took an actual bull, put it in the temple. They had scribes interpreted the bull's movements of prophecies. Hey, you know the, the bull. I'm here every Monday, man. And they found the bull. The bull. I, I agree. Because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really stuck on the Asian shit, but the yeah, bull yeah. was the first thing that people used for as far as money. You feel me? And show you got a bull market. Yeah, and it showed it well. They had the bull market, right? <laughs> and then that's when it, then, then, then that's when the the kind come in, or the coin co co tell, kind of tell. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Well, the word bull is where you get Baal. Yeah. So. uh Exactly. So they was really Baal worshippers. Right. The ancient Egyptians were. Yeah. I can, I can, you know I, what I mean? I can see you on that. That's why the scriptures are I so I don't, I don't, I'm anti egyptian I don't, I'm not really all into it. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I agree with you, though, bro. Yeah. They remember when the Egyptians came out in the wilderness, they made that golden calf. Because they was worshiping in that bull. And the Most High jacked them up. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. I think that's where the lion comes in, too, though. Lions don't do either. The lions are lions because what the lions do? They kill gold predatory. That's a big parable uh, imagery in the Bible. The lion from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. You know, the Lord's called a lion and a lamb. Because right. it's a lamb because the lamb is peaceful. But, what, some, but sometimes he's a lion and he devours. Oh, okay, that's what I'm saying because it's up here. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we roll like that, right? And you can either go up like a lamb or you go down like a lamb. Right, yeah, it's balance. Right, boom, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. See, that, this book right here ain't supposed to be really good. Yeah, I can see what you're doing. Well, on, I, can, on, I can see what you're yeah, doing yeah. on the fiscal side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you got the so but it's supposed to be took here. It's allegories. It's There's a lot of allegories. It's all up in here. There's a lot of allegories. Because you can no It has an allegory plus it has the actual uh, chronicles and history, though. And they said God was a carpenter. I think he was more like a uh, blacksmith. Plus he created some stories. Holy man singing, man. Well, actually, I think he's a stonemason. That's the word when you look it up. Yeah, but he should be a blacksmith, though. But the Lord, I mean, but the Bible, though, is allegory, but you got, like, you got the Book of Chronicles, which has long, exhaustive list of genealogies. So it's a history book. See, genealogy, that's, that's Jen. Yeah, right, but that's, you're right, Jen. That's, that's no good, that's Jen. But Jen just means uh, the origin point or something. You know, like generations. Jen means, you know, we ain't did nothing. That's an Arabic, though. There's three of them, right, of course. That's an Arabic. You know, yeah, but in Hebrew, he same thing. He want to pull you away because he fucks your life. Well, Hebrew is, is that's a different, that's a Greek word, Don't James. Just, he's because, stupid, because man. It, that's, that's that'd be a all, all, the, all the words we're saying today, it means something really different. But in, in, in ancient Hebrew, though. Well, because the English language is all, yeah, it's, it's all languages mixed together. It's, 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 it's French, Latin, 
Yep. It's dramatic. Yeah, it's, it's everything. High German. They got Japanese in there too. It's like God. Everything. It's like God means good. Yeah, I mean, God does. Know, God does mean good, and the devil is evil. No, good. Yeah, good. High German. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. That's all God means is good. But that's that's an English word. You know what I mean? Right. But we know in the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh. Something going on in the secret. Right. 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 You're gonna find out the Bible is the truth. Like, do you believe that the one they call Jesus is the actual person? All of them. I, 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 I know that it's all it's all mental training. Well, everything is mental. It's all in the head. That's the spirit, really. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. And words create spirit. And that's why the scriptures talk about what the Holy Spirit. In the beginning was the word. The word. There you go. That's the word. It's spelled backwards. Sword. It is what the word word is in sword. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because the word is a sword. And world, put an L in it. L, A, L, L, God, world. And that's why uh, ain't no other books on the planet got scriptures like these. You got traditions like this. That's a book of mathematics and high science. It is. You know the word science means to know. But they still don't want to The word uh, math is a Hebrew word. I'm off. Yeah, but it's my eye. Yeah, but it, they don't, yeah, they know my eye. That's my eye. Yeah, yeah, you see how similar it is? My, I already my know that. Yeah. I already know that. They, they probably are it. similar words. Yeah. Hebrew is the original tongue. You know I have to get that You know what I mean? I agree with that. Ancient Hebrew. Right. Because it's changed. There's different, there's different Hebrew. What you got there? You got some new Just signs? Just a new sign. Just going to come. What you got there? They make them right now. Really? This, they, they gave me these. They gave me these. Damn. Right. Coming up in the world. See, hey. only thing I'm doing right now, and what you're doing is giving back because you testing your temperament. Right. Your temperature. Right. I'm doing the same. Well, we commanded to do Hold this. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm doing me too, though. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So it's a win-win. I'm testing. I'm testing what I know. Right. I'm testing what you know. Right. I know the truth. How high is it? Right. That's what I'm saying. Me too. Yeah, you always commanded to come out here. Yeah, me we, too. We ain't got a choice. Me too. You're right. You, I, was right I was right here. I was right here to see you. Let me read you the scriptures up real quick. We talking about that word. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints of marrow and is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So that, that, like we said, the word is a sword. And the Bible tells us that, you know what I mean? What did you read on? Yeah, okay. Hebrews 4 and 12. Okay. And that's why when we come out here, there's no other book you can read out of that'll cause a riot, have people come and try to kill you. Woo. You're having cops come out here. Because this right that's, here. That's what any religion is. Well, no, it's not. Oh, oh no. The booty. Okay, it may cause some controversy, some other religion, yeah. but nothing is like nothing this. Nothing like this. Boy. Nothing is like this. They have everybody wanting to kill you. Hey, you got to come out here and witness it, man. Or you got to watch the videos. You got to actually witness it, man. But anyway, these people ain't doing nothing but blowing smoke, though. They come up here and they look at you and they talk shit. They ain't doing nothing but blowing smoke, man. But even if they did jump on it, we can get busy if we have to. You know what I'm saying? We can get busy, man. This word can cut straight to their spirit. Yeah, they, get, they don't like being corrected. And, if, and it's not just a book. You know, that's oh, just a book written by man. Nah, this was written by us. Yeah, Israelites. This, we wrote this.